Now I've had an absolutely crazy morning. The day that I was feeling so fresh and excited last night, I went to the gym and I was looking forward to coming in and, and doing some, some video today and, and getting dressed up. But, um, but about five o'clock this morning, I had an email uh, come through to me. It was, uh, it was something that's been going on over the last couple of days. I've booked a holiday uh, with, with lastminute.com and, um, and, and, and it actually, I managed to double book it, which was uh, the computer froze. Um, and I didn't know the transaction had gone through. I checked my account, I checked my emails, uh, nothing had come through, um, and I didn't know how whether it booked. I thought I'd done the check, so I went ahead and, and booked it again. And then about half an hour later, the emails came through, um, and I booked this really quite expensive holiday for me at least, uh, twice. And now the, now the complete nightmare that I'm having at the moment is that um, is that uh, is that. A, first of all, they said they wouldn't give me a refund, so I'll be having to pay for the same holiday twice. And then secondly, I managed to get through to someone a bit more su superior, um, who said that they would consider a refund. Now, um, I thought that was great and good customer service, and, and really that's the right thing that they should do. But what's happened is it's, I've had an email come through at about um, half four, quarter to five this morning, saying that um, they will give me a refund, but they're gonna charge me about 360 pounds um, for the privilege, um, which I just think is, I just think is, is morally wrong. Seeing as I've been a, I don't know, been a like a, a you know a great customer of this brand for probably about sort of 14, 15 years or so, and I'm um, using them over and over again for work and and for um, private use as well, booking holidays and and hotels and things, and um, and and even though so these guys are still going to get um, um, a, a full the cost of a full holiday. And so their suppliers and, and the flight company and the hotel company. Um, so they're not, not like they're actually missing out. And I've clearly, um, no one in their right mind is gonna deliberately book the same holiday for the same people going to the same places twice. Um, but for just for the privilege, um, for answering a couple of emails and, and a phone call, um, they're charging me about 350 quid. And I just think this is a, it's not a good way to build your own brand and, and also um, to keep customer loyalty because um, there's no way in my right mind am I going to use this company again, which is just, um, it just doesn't make any sense. And I, I, you know, it's my first, first online rant, which is not really like me, but I'm probably going to be doing a few more of it um, coming up over the next sort of few months or so but i think this is a really good lesson that um they've lost me as a, as a, as a customer now on and they had me for about 14 you know 14 or so years um and it's just silly because it, it's, it's not worth it it's not worth it the lifetime value of me will be far more than you know the 350 pounds that they're going to stitch me up for and they've made me you know really upset and in in the process it just doesn't make any sense and i think this is where in a lot of big brands are going these days is um um, you know, I managed to get through to call centres and they didn't really show any sympathy or... Um, and it's just, um, yeah, I think big brands need to really have, really have a good look at themselves. And, and so, you know, go back to basics when it comes to customer services.